When you're performing, there's always going to be a time when somebody says, so how did you do that? Well, now you have a funny answer. You see, the secret is very simple. I don't work alone. Very few magicians do. You see, while you weren't looking, what really happens is my little tiny assistant, you see, he's very shy, but he sneaks out quietly. He takes your ring. When you're not looking, he's the one that secretly makes it vanish. It's very simple. It doesn't have to be a ring, though. It can be a coin as well. So we have a coin over here and exactly the same. When you're not looking, my little assistant, he sneaks out very quietly like this. He took your coin when you weren't looking. He puts it inside the envelope or wherever it may be. And that is the secret behind it. So this is my little hand gimmick. Um, it's, uh, well, the original was handcrafted by myself and it was designed with um, some specific goals. Firstly, I wanted it to be as realistic as possible. Secondly, I wanted to have it as one size fits all. And this does, if this doesn't fit your finger properly, then you pour some boiling water over it, close it, put it under cold water and it will fit your finger or you can clamp it to your finger as you put it under cold water. Uh, I also wanted it to be thumb palmed very simply so the whole design, all the curves, everything here was designed so that it will fit neatly into thumb palm and be as hidden as possible so you can gesture with your hands. So you can sit on the table like that, you can move quite freely, you can pick things off, you can move things around and it's fairly well hidden. But it's here and it should be easy to get it onto your finger as well. So that's it on the finger, it comes into thumb palm and it comes off. That is the move you need to learn or practice to be able to get rid of it. So they're set up, I'll be uh, relaxing here. This will be my pocket, usually I'll go into my pocket, I'll get it out, and as I draw attention to the ring over here or wherever it may be, I then put it onto my, th my finger. It needs to go on this middle finger. If it's on one of the other fingers, you won't be able to thumb palm it very well. It's very difficult to go from here to thumb palm it uh, cleanly, and uh, it's almost impossible to do it from, from there or just about. So on the middle finger, and you have it here, you can point over here quite clearly, and then as you turn the hand over, you're using this hand here to hide the little hand. So you turn it over like this, it's all hidden, you leave the coin or the ring just here, and then you can bring your hand all the way back here, and the, uh, the little hand is here. And then you quite simply let it come out, it'll grab or claw anything that's there, pull it into the hand like that, and then you turn your hands over like that, you can then point there, you can thumb palm it off as you give them the ring or the coin. It's as simple as that. So one more time, I'll use the two pound coin. You relax here. It's very simple, you see, I don't work alone. My little tiny assistant sneaks out very quietly when you're not looking. You pull it into your hand, you turn over, you take the coin. In the same hand is better because that will draw less attention to this hand and that is the handling of the little finger. There will be a better video coming out uh, very shortly, but at the moment, that should keep you going. That's my little hand gimmick. Thank you for watching.